cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. What would you do if you woke up one day and looked in the mirror, but the face what stared back wasn't yours? I'd go back to bed and smash the mirror. <laughs> this tale is called When the Bed Bugs Bite. Night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. If they do, get a shoe and squash those nasty bugs in too. In a faraway place, just between the land of dreams and the valley of nightmares, is a spinning block of ice. Inside this block of ice is an answer phone where all the good night wishes of the world are stored until she decides to grant them. Hannibal was every bit as bad as a bed bug. <laughs> he was a nasty, biting boy with piranha-sharp teeth and a liking for flesh. <laughs> Hannibal's parents lived in fear of their son. Hannibal, his father scolded, or one day you'll bite off more than you can chew. It's so unhygienic, said his mother. People are uncooked. You don't know where they've been. And how are we going to pay for this? It was a bill from the Natural History Museum. We're not. No! Go! That was one less fingernail his father would have to trim. Hannibal was sent to bed. Curb your gnashing or else, roared his father. But it's fun. Where are you going? Oh, you haven't done the night, night wish. Night, night, sleep tight, hope the bed bugs don't bite. Because it's not true, Hannibal. We hope the bed bugs do bite. But that would hurt. Yes. It is our wish to see you taught a lesson, Hannibal. And if that lesson is a serious biting from bedbugs, then so be it. <laughs> a serious biting from bedbugs, then so be it. That night, Hannibal slept fitfully. Hope the bed bugs do bite. Hope the bed bugs do bite. Hope the bed bugs do bite. He had a terrifying nightmare about a queen bug, a cot cell, click clack teeth, and a ding. Night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> but when Hannibal jerked awake, he was still a biter. And later that day, while the headmistress was dusting the school trophies... You horrible brute of a boy! Go home now and don't come back until you've changed! Hannibal went home. But on the way, his teeth started to itch. The lollipop lady seemed strangely familiar in a nightmarish sort of way. Then suddenly, Hannibal expected her to explode, but she didn't. She bounced and brushed herself down. My fault, no damage. But there was to the truck. She must have had strong bones. And still Hannibal did not recognise her, not even when two feelers twitched out of her cap. Not even when she touched him on the head with her golden lollipop. Hannibal's parents' wish was about to come true. That night, a stranger came to his door. Are you a bug? asked Hannibal. You look like one. 
No, dear. I'm the bug exterminator. Excuse the garb, but it stops creepy crawlers sneaking up my trouser legs. Now, I've been told there are bed bugs in your bedroom. Really? Yes, really. Why else would you beg them not to bite you every night? What's that? My vacuum cleaner for sucking up bugs when I find them. There was a tiny scuttling noise inside the cylinder. Are those bed bugs I can hear now? Too many questions. Now show me your bedroom. Hannibal's parents were locked out. Only Hannibal was allowed in the bedroom with her to show her how he slept. Then she stuck the nozzle in the bed and switched the vacuum on. Are you sucking the bed bugs out now? Something like that, she said. That should do it. Mission accomplished. I'll let myself out night, night. Sleep tight. An hour later, the bed bugs came out to play. They swarmed across his feet, scuttled up his legs and sank their tiny little teeth in. In the morning, Hannibal's arm was stiff when he brushed his teeth and his eyes were half closed. When he got dressed, his shirt split across his back. When he went down to breakfast, his mother screamed and his father fainted. And when he walked to school, people stared at him. What had got into everyone this morning? What's wrong? I won't bite. And the headmistress poked him with a mop. When I said you were not to come back until you changed, she screeched, this was not what I meant. I'm going to get the exterminator. Hannibal did not understand. At least... Not until he caught sight of his reflection in a window. And staring back at him was not a boy, but a huge black bedbug with munching mandibles and flicking feelers. If they do, get a shoe and squash those nasty bugs in too. Suddenly, a motorbike roared into the playground and screeched to a halt in a cloud of burning rubber. You! cried Hannibal. Me! smiled the bug exterminator. Then she took a giant shoe and split Hannibal open like a pistachio nut. In that faraway place, the answer phone tape rewound to the start. To begin again. To wait for the next good night wish. Who knows? It may be yours. Spindleshanks, wake up! I just saw a bug in your bed! Don't worry, I'll get it for you. Whoops! It was you! 